Welcome, Welcome to the Nightly Rant with your, your hosts, hosts, Mike and Toria. This is the show where we examine society from a sarcastic point of view. If you like insane conversations, this is definitely the show for you. Let's get into today's topic. YPN people, I don't know about you, but I love helping out a friend. That's why I want to shout out my friend Brian Little and his podcast, Your Favorite Blockhead. This is the only show that manages to weave together peanuts and MMA into one heck of an amazing podcast. You can find your favorite blockhead wherever your favorite podcasts reside and at yourfavoriteblockhead.com. Do me a huge favor and listen to Brian's show. You'll be entertained and you'll help out a friend. Now, as I said, let's get into today's topic. So I want to talk about a little bit of misinformation that goes around. Okay. So remember remember when the pandemic first started and now throughout the whole pandemic, what's the reason they say we wear masks? Why are we wearing masks? To protect other people. To protect other people from us, right? Not to protect us from other people, but to protect other people from us. And all of our COVID-bearing ways, yes. Okay. So what are we protecting them from? Us. But but what is it that, what are they going to get from us? COVID? Germs and COVID. COVID. Okay. So so if they're going to get COVID from us, have you had COVID? Not that I'm aware of. So how many people have you saved from COVID since you haven't had COVID? None. Exactly. Also, I so don't you wearing I a don't mask. So you <laughs> wearing a mask has saved how many lives? Zero. Zero. Exactly. But it's given me at least 10 anxiety attacks that I can count. So that that's, you know... I'm not here to be pro-mask, anti-mask. You know, we, we're stupid, in my opinion, and we comply in places where we shouldn't comply. Um, and wear like, masks. But exactly. That's what I start doing, people. When I see people wearing masks in stupid places, like walking all by themselves down the sidewalk, I go, masks, masks. Because that's how they're acting. They're acting like sheeple. So... Talking about misinformation, <laughs> you know, we got a new president. That's Seriously. real information. And with the new president comes a new press secretary. A year in, is he really new anymore? And she looks like Peppermint Patty. Who? From the press secretary. Keep up here, Who's man. Peppermint Patty? Peppermint Patty was from the Charlie Brown, the Peanuts series. She, was, she had red hair and... She was one of the girls in the group. Okay. So she looks just like Peppermint Patty. Is that why when she talks, all I hear is... <laughs> yes. But that's that's the thing, okay? She looks just <laughs> like her. She looks just <laughs> like her. It's really funny. She looks just like her. Um, but that's okay. That's not the problem. The problem is that when she one lies. side does this, the other side screams... But when the other side does it, the side doing it now screams. So it's like they're so inconsistent and it makes me mad. Um, <clears throat> so she was asked about Hunter Biden's business dealings in China. Okay. And she says, well, he's not an employee of the federal government. Completely missing the point that the president claimed his son didn't have any business dealings with China. Didn't the world have a royal giant cow when Trump's son was dealing with China or something or Ukraine or yeah. some crazy I don't remember yeah, what it was. I don't remember what it was either, but I, I But the world I had know. a cow. Yeah. Why isn't the world having a cow about this? Exactly. <sighs> Inconsistency, right? Yeah. So okay, you know how there's been these smash and grab lootings going on and you know, they're running around um you know, stealing from malls and big box stores. I thought and we whatnot. weren't allowed to call it looting anymore. Okay. Well, yeah, you're not supposed to call it looting. You know, as soon as you call it looting, it becomes racist, apparently. Oh, okay. but, but in any event, she claims, this Jen Psaki claims that that smash and grab stuff is due to COVID. Why are people stealing Nikes and Cartier watches? That's the part they won't COVID. answer. Just curious. And, you know, an AOC says, 
that there are no such smash and grab uh, robberies that it's made up by the retailers. It's not like they're stealing vaccinations or cold medicine. They're stealing like high ticket items. Yeah. And then the mayor of Chicago blamed the businesses for the smash and grab robberies, that. saying they should have hired more security. That was particularly great. Right? So. Isn't that why they pay taxes so the police will protect their business? So they were asked about the $1.25 trillion Build Back Better plan mm -hmm. and the claims that, and they claim that it doesn't cost a penny. So how do you call it a $1.2 trillion package? But where are you getting, like, that doesn't cost a penny? Like, where are you getting that money from? Yeah, you're spending money. Do these people never take economics? Yeah, you're spending money. Adam Smith, there is no free lunch? Yeah, you're spending money. Regardless, you're spending money. It's not, they're trying to make it sound like you're only spending what you're getting in. But we are already in a deficit, right? Yes. So we're already spending more than we get, right? Even so if. So how, how does that, how does that wash? Even if they found that $1.2 trillion in a chest at the bottom of the ocean, there's still a cost. Just saying. Stupid people. So, um, there was a recent report that came out about the 2017 tax cut okay and it came from That's somebody the trumpsters who, tax cut same yeah came from somebody who analyzed the irs data okay and they she continually stands in front of the microphone and says that that 2017 tax cut only helped the top one percent but the report that she's well aware of clearly states that it helps middle class americans by lowering their taxes an average of 18%. 18%. That's a big percent. So then she was asked about the travel ban from Africa. The question was, how do you explain this to the African people? And by the way, it looked like the guy was from an African media outlet, like actually from one of the African countries that was banned. Okay. <laughs> And that's sublime. He says, why aren't you banning other countries with the Omicron variant if there are no political reasons for the ban? So she claims that the variant led to hundreds of thousands of cases. Well, the actual number, you ready for this? Hundreds of thousands, 16,000. That's 16s of thousands. Yeah. Not hundreds, hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. Um, that's great that it was... I would like to know why a travel ban banning certain countries in Africa, where the population is predominantly black, is not racist, but a travel ban banning people from Muslim countries. Which is a religion. Not a race. Is quote unquote racist. Now well, I understand that. And, those and people I want to have... point out and I want to point out that I personally didn't like either of those two bans. Okay? But let's be consistent, folks. I mean, if you're going to call that racist, this is 100% racist. I mean, but I know what it is, babe. I know what it is. Joe Biden has a stutter. So that's why it's not racist. God, keep going. <laughs> I can't. I can't after you make You that like one. that one, didn't that you? That is a mic drop. Her claim was, her claim was, yeah, I know, right? Her claim was that... Biden is too busy for TV interviews, but yet he continually goes on vacations. Taking an extra day off here, an extra afternoon off there. That's he because... Because he can't do a TV interview. A houseplant can only be in direct sunlight for so long. <laughs> yeah. So How? this one gets me because it just makes me mad because I, I agree with part of what she's saying, but I don't agree with the approach. So she was asked about the reprehensible Texas abortion law. Okay. Okay. And she shamed the reporter saying that he's a man and shouldn't be asking such questions. That it's not his place. Okay. 1950 called and they want their <laughs> mindset right? back. Right. Now, like I said, it makes me sad because, I mean, I agree with her that that, 
that law is kind of, you know, reprehensible. I mean, it, it's a clear, for one thing, it's a clear attempt. If you're really a constitutionalist, it's a clear attempt to get around the Constitution. This kind of shit makes me nuts because, okay, I don't really care what anybody's stance on abortion is. I don't, I don't give two shits. I don't want to debate any of that with anybody. If the people on the left are the people saying that there are new genders and that men can have ovaries, then why can't men have an opinion on abortion? If they can have ovaries and uteruses and give birth, then why can't they have an opinion on abortion? Really, she should have said people with dicks can't talk about abortion, to which point I would have responded, well, then you better shut up. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm so sorry. then Biden is always saying that the rule of law is a basic American approach that we follow what the rule of law says. OK, so she's asked about the vaccine mandates mm-hmm. that multiple courts have shut down and right. called them illegal. And she's asked why they're still continuing to push these mandates. You know what she did? What? Went to the next reporter and, re- and basically just refused to answer the question. Wow. Then, then, this is great, you know, and this is a very typical thing of this administration. The other administration used to do it, but not to American people. They would blame, you know, Trump would throw this senator under the bus and that congresswoman under the bus and this cabinet member under the bus and this staff member under the bus. He would throw people under the bus if it suited him, okay? But what the Biden administration does is they blame everyone else but themselves. So um, (laughs) she asked, she was asked what happened to Biden's promise to shut down COVID. I mean, he said he was the president who was going to shut down COVID. And she responded, well, we're working on it. And then she continues to say that American people just need to do more. It's our fault that they haven't shut down COVID. I I have no words to respond to that. You're going to love this one. She says that the criticism of Vice President Harris... It's about race and gender. The woman's staff members, who, by the way, are some female, some male, some of color, some not, just saying, the staff members say that she's a tyrant and that she's not very competent. They say this. They work with her daily. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the mother of women's women's rights, should be rolling over in her grave seeing that person as vice president of the United States because she is turning back the clock. Well, yeah, because because it is. It's making it look like a woman is incapable, and it has nothing to do with her being a woman. She's just an incapable person. It has nothing to do with her being a woman, but you're right. There'll be a certain number of people who are going to be like, well, see, it was because she was a woman. That's why it happened. The opinion about women is when you put them in a position, position of power, is that they're going to be overly emotional about every situation and not be able to handle it. She is sitting up there being overly emotional about every situation and refusing to handle anything properly. And she's just what everybody thought it would be. Not everybody, but like all those nasty, disgusting, sexist pieces of trash thought it would be. Which means that now those nasty... Yeah, Sexist it'll be a long ass time have before have something to grab onto. And it'll be a long ass time before someone gets through as a female president, in my opinion. Now, and I think that's sad. I think it's really Hillary sad. Clinton would have been a better first woman in that White House. And that's saying, yeah, you know, so that, well, that's much. because Hillary Clinton has a pair of balls. Like, actually, she does she have has balls. Cojones. She has and... Bill's balls. <laughs> but she also knows how to politic properly without being a bitch. That's what Kamala yeah. doesn't have. She's yeah. not capable of Yeah, you're right. And it, it drives me crazy when they're asked a tough question and she just cackles. Yeah. It just drives me nuts. Like, like I would rather you say I have no fucking idea. I don't even know why you asked me that question. And I don't like Hillary Clinton, and I said she would have be, been better. So she was asked about Biden spending Thanksgiving at a billionaire's mansion. And what does that say to Americans who are struggling? She says, well, you know, everyone's saying it's really bad, but like, we compared the cost of a 20-pound turkey this year to one last year, and it's only a dollar more. I'm sorry. We bought a 20-pound turkey. Our we turkey was 30 double. cents a pound more than usual. Yeah, we paid double. We normally get it for 29 cents a pound. 
We got, got it for, it for 49. 49. So 49. We got it for 59 cents. Is it 59? Correct. Yep. So double. Okay. Double. Double. So give, don't give me this. It costs a dollar more. We paid double on literally the cheapest turkey we could find. Just yeah. saying. Yeah, exactly. That's not even like an, you know, what do they call them? Butterball turkey or any of Those are like a dollar forty nine. Or a Jenny O turkey. Uh uh-uh. uh. We didn't get the name brand, no. man. We got the Kroger. Yeah. You know, the one where they just went to the chicken farm and they said, those thousand to go to Kroger, those thousand go to Stater Brothers. Yeah, that that's yeah, and then they label them their own way. Anyway. Our turkey was definitely fed other turkey parts. Yes. <laughs> um and <Moving> then <laughs> um She's she called Trump's travel restrictions xenophobia, but that Biden's are just fine. She claims that Biden never um, attacked the travel bans either. Yet there's clear video of Biden at uh, debates talking about how he's xenophobic. That's why he banned countries from coming. And then you know, here's something that I kind of you know completely one hundred percent agree. At one point, I thought closing the border for a little while would be a good idea, but here's why I realize it's not going to ever work. These things are so transient and they move so quickly that by the time you discover they exist, they pretty much exist everywhere. You can't everywhere. move fast enough. They pretty much exist everywhere. So shutting them down obviously didn't work, and the proof of that is how many of the Omicron cases have shown up here. Because that's what happens. You know, it's a global society now. For we sure. fly, and in, in a day, you could be in a completely other side of the world. Mm. It's crazy. Three hours and you can be in another country. Less from here because you could go to well, Mexico. Well, the crazy but... thing is like when you're in Australia and you leave on a Wednesday, you come back in to here on a Wednesday. Yeah, but when you leave from here on a Wednesday, you arrive in Australia on Thursday. Yes, yeah, so you lose a day. You gain a day back coming back, though. Actually, you end up on Tuesday, not Wednesday. Um, yeah, you, you, you get your time back, yep. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's weird how that works. So, mm-hmm. you know, double. So, what and then the travel restrictions. Then um, she defended Biden's comments about the Rittenhouse kid and and doubled down on the fact that he's a white supremacist. Oh, I, I, that whole topic just makes me so dang mad. Yeah, um, she made it a point at one point to say that the administration has been flagging problematic misinformation posts for Facebook, which means that they've turned Facebook into a government actor, which means everything Facebook does is a violation of First Amendment rights at that point. That's awesome. So that would, that would kind of F up things over there. Um, then she... Um, was asked about inflation being at a 31-year high. Mm -hmm. And she says that there's no economist that suggests that the spending bill will cause a rise in inflation. But that's not really true because there are many who disagree with her. uh, She then claims that COVID is the root cause of inflation. And fact checkers say her comments about economists are false. Oh, Oh my God. (laughs) And then, like, okay. Nothing she says ages well. Biden... Biden has a mask mandate in D.C. You have to wear a mask everywhere. Mm-hmm. So he and his wife are recorded multiple times now, leaving in a restaurant, walking through the restaurant, no mask, mask in hand, no mask on face. So she's she's asked about what does that say to the American people when the president of the United States, who set the rule, is violating the rule? Mm-hmm. What does that send? What message does that send? I mean, to me, the message it sends is, you know, do as I say, not as I do. Well, and it tells me I don't have to wear a mask walking out of a restaurant. Yeah. It's just, it, 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 all that stuff is so maddening. Um, she was asked about um, false messaging around the economy. They claim that salaries are up, prices are down, etc. And then uses the pandemic as an excuse. I think it's funny when they keep saying that he created jobs. I mean, hey, let's just shut the economy down for 18 months and keep people out of work. And then let's make a claim that we created these jobs when we reopen the economy. What I what I see here is the problem in our country. And that is that 
all the sides are just seeing things their own way. And then lying to make other people see it their way. And then, yeah, and then lying, even though it's been proven that their narrative is false, they just continue to speak it. Because if you say something enough times, people will start to believe you. Really? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to test your theory out. Say it enough times and people will start to believe you. I wish people would have picked up my use of the word rad, but it didn't happen, and now I'm sad. Well, you give up too easily. I tried for a solid year, man. Eh, that's not enough time. <sighs> Stick it out. Anyway, <laughs> that's all I got for you. My throat's getting kind of dry. I smell dinner cooking. On that super rad note, good night, everyone. Ah, still a bye-bye. Thank you for listening to The Nightly Rant. If you enjoyed the show, please give us a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts or Google Play. If you didn't enjoy the show, please just ignore that previous request for a rating. This has been a Yogi's Podcast Network production.